Thank you, Rochelle. Really appreciate it. <laughs> wow, I just watched my own ad. Anyway, I gotta finish putting stuff away and then I can get started. Gosh, I gotta clean these glasses. Ooh, it's snowing heavy. Well, actually, it's not heavy. It's lots of snow, little fluffy snows. I can't see. Rochelle seems to be here. Hello, everyone. We're going to get started in a second. I got some things to clean up. Things to talk about. <laughs> I guess I should be super excited. I'm just not yet. Hi, living with the May hands. What's up? What's up? What's up? I got monetized today. I woke up to it. I could have gotten monetized last night. I don't know. I woke up and I was monetized. So what time did it happen? Let's see. I'm still a little giddy. I'm not quite sure how I feel about it. I'm, but I don't know. I think it was at 3.30 this morning I was monetized. So still trying to get these glasses clean. I have a couple things to do before we start. I got to finish putting away the dishes. <sighs> there we are. Thank you, congratulations, I appreciate it, Rochelle. All right, let's put some stuff away. We're going to make, uh, well, I wanna show you why we're making stew. Hello, hello, hey, good to see you, thank you, thank you. I wanna show you why we're making chowder. You see that? That, my dear is snow and it's coming down lightly, but enough to coat. And here comes Stella to tell us about it. Stella, I think we need to go inside. Do you believe it? Snow, snow. Welcome to the stream, yes. But oh, Batismo is my bot. And he'll welcome you and give you levels, like you've reached level this, level that, level this. Eat Grace Life, how, hello. Vibes, Jay, uh, yeah, yeah, it is cold. It's um, cold and it's going to drop. So it's going to continue to drop. So our lo overnight low is supposed to be something like mm, 10 to 14. And I would say that even for Minnesota, that's unusual. So I got to, like I said, I just have to finish some things up and then we can get going. So I hope everybody has had a lovely weekend. I spent the weekend going, why aren't I monetized yet? And then I thought I wasn't going to get monetized for a month because, um, because they had done the switch. So Carolyn, to be free, hello, sounds cold. Yes, it is. I mean, I'm wearing a scarf inside. Whenever you see me wearing, hey, thank you, Bozo. Whenever you see me wearing a scarf inside, you know it's cold outside. We have a, um, an, our house was built in 1902. And though it was built uh, for Minnesota winters, it still has a lot of leaks and cracks and things because it's so old. So we um, getting the, or keeping the temperature up in our house can sometimes be hard. Married Life Vlogs, thank you for coming in. Yes, thank you. I I am ecstatic. I don't really know how I feel. I don't know how I'm supposed to feel, you know? Um, I guess I'm supposed to feel like, wow, that's really great. Uh, or else I'm just numb. I don't know. I've been working at this, you know, for a year. Actually, no. I didn't know anything about 
this. I didn't know anything about monetization or anything like that because until like shortly before, um, shortly before Lisa Carter got monetized. I was like, what? I thought you just got paid for you. <laughs> Got that super chat, chat, cha ching thing. Yes, I hope that, um, I hope that, you know, somebody makes use of it. It'd be really nice. It'd be fun. I would really be happy <laughs> if that happened. So super chat me if you wish, but I'm not going to beg. Hey, English teacher in France, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, it was a journey. It was a journey. Now, if I had been going live since the beginning, it wouldn't be such a, wouldn't have been such a, you know, I'm going to hit it every day, you know. Oh, I think I need two things of celery. Um, so I would have, oh, thank you, Inspiration Vlog. I really appreciate that. I don't know how much a pound is here in, is that a pound? That's a super chat, though. No, I'm, you got to go, go, go lay down. I know you're protecting the house. Oh. Well, hey, Casey, hello, 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 hello. Yes, it happened. And Casey, I don't even, I, I have a smile on my face, but I don't even know how to feel about it. <laughs> I am monetized, but like, you know, I mean, Leonard Che had the best video about monetization where he was talking about, yeah, I did everything I was supposed to do and my YouTube check was $5 next month, $6 next month, $4. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> I see what it's about. It's kind of like a token. Thank you. Thank you very much. Life with Melissa, yay, hello. The Winston family, congrats, thank you. I, I was it, were, it was a lot of time. I don't know if it was a lot of work. That's what I'll say. It is a second job, but I don't know if it was a lot of work. And the reason I say that is because my job is work. YouTube is fun. And that's how I have always seen it. Nina Vixen, hello. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I, Nina, do I know you? I probably do. And thank you for the champagne bottle. I would be drinking if I felt that was appropriate, but I don't think that's appropriate. Oh, Nina, I don't know you. Nina, let's read your about page. That's what I like to do when I find people. <laughs> Hi, y'all. Welcome to my channel. There's your about page. All right. Excellent. Okay, so Nina, I'm going to put some videos in um, my watch later, especially, I thought I saw a good, ooh, this one, where's the title on that? Can't wait until dinner. Okay, let's, I'm going to put a bunch of these in my watch later list, um, and then I will come back and watch those. Save, watch later, and yeah, there we go. So. All right, and then we can get connected. Hey, Winston family. Hello, Nina. Yes, hello, everyone. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you for being here. You guys, I'm going to make myself some ginger tea. Um, I'm not advertising, but I am telling you, this is my favorite go-to when I don't have homemade ginger tea. Usually what I do when I make ginger tea is I... Um, when I make ginger tea, I boil a bunch of ginger for about 10 hours. I simmer it until all of the goodness seeps into, seeps into the, um, let me get this going first, seeps into the water and it becomes this dark brown, looks like a really dark tea. And then I'll just have that in the refrigerator, especially during the winter season because I'm not going to need two minutes on that especially during the winter season because it's, um, it'll make it, I mean, it's, it's useful. Anytime you get a sinus something or whatever, just pour a little bit of that ginger tea in a cup, heat it up or heat it up on the stove. And then, um, 
and then uh, add your honey and lemon or whatever you want to add to it. If you'd like to support this channel, use the Skash tag on your Cash App. Yes, you guys, doing good. Just still no Wi-Fi at home yet, just on my mobile. Oh my God, why is there no Wi-Fi? Why is there no Wi-Fi? Good, you guys keep talking to each other. Ah, uh, just put these together right now. Um, I gotta wash my vegetables. We're gonna get going on this soup. Um, like I showed right in the beginning, there's snow. There's gonna be lots of snow, and I care not for snow. <laughs> I don't like snow, so. Let's see. I just have to check something. Okay, I gotta get my bacon out, an onion, two carrots, two stuff. Yeah, okay. I wrote this recipe a couple of years ago, and whenever these are my winter recipes, so I don't usually have them during the summer. So I always have to go back to my recipes and say, huh, how did I do this again? So it's three to four, uh, sorry, Casey, I know you love bacon, but can't eat it. Three to four slices of uh, bacon cut up so it's, you know, lardones. It looks like lardones. Um, and then you got two stalks of celery, two stock, two large carrots. Um, an onion. So that's the base. And then... Uh, we break up the cauliflower. Remember, your teeth are jewels, not tools. We break up the cauliflower. And, hey, Green Organic Love, I was headed out and thought I would say congrats. Thank you so much. I'm making just some instant ginger tea because I didn't have any in my cupboard. So um, I know you drink your ginger juice every day. But... Um, yeah, so carrot, celery, on, onion, the mir mirepoix, you know, the mirepoix, you know. And then uh, a head of cauliflower. Okay, I got a story about this cauliflower. See this? This nice, beautiful cauliflower. We were at the co-op, and my husband thought it said three twenty dollars a piece. Hey, you girl, Shay. Good to see you. You did it. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Thank you. Um, he thought it said three twenty a piece. It was three twenty a pound. We paid over nine dollars, over nine dollars for this cauliflower. Do you believe that? Craziness. Ah, 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 ah. The co-op sometimes. Sometimes they get me. Sometimes I get mad. So if you want some Kicking It With Karen merchandise, my Teespring is uh, storefront is down below in the description. It just says, if you want mer Kicking It With Karen merchandise, this is where you can get it. That is if you want it. No ginger tea for you. Why, bozo? Oh, you watched the ads. Oh, thank you. I keep, people keep saying I watch the ads or I got, you know, some texts. I saw your video. I watched the ads. I'm like, why didn't you watch? Oh, you watched the ads. Okay. It's a thing. Mm. Just burn my tongue. Okay. Got to get these washed. So, you know what I do. You know what I believe in. Apple cider vinegar to rinse it off. Be the difference clothing. Thank you. You know, every, everybody says, oh, that was, you know, so much work, so much work. And it wasn't work, per se. It wasn't a lot of work. It was a lot of time. That's what it was. Because work is work. My work is work. This is a lot of time. Hold on one second. Oh. Sorry, you're looking at my armpit. 
just put it in here, spray it, and let it sit for five minutes before we rinse it. Why so long? You could go as little as three, but to guarantee that you're killing the bugs, any bacteria such as E. coli, you want to go for five. And in that five, ow! <laughs> In those five minutes, I can look at the chat and I can start cutting up an onion. Do you need to see me cut an onion? I don't think you do. Eric Brown, hey Karen again. Eric, thank you for coming through. I didn't get an ad, that's all right. That means you didn't have to worry about it. You didn't have to worry about the ad. If you got an ad, you did. If you didn't, that's okay. Next time you might get an ad. Next time you might, or maybe sometime you won't. I don't know how it works. My ginger beer turned out really, really good. I want some ginger beer. Did it get alcoholic at all? Or did, you were saying something about it being, it had gone a little bit alcoholic, but still it was probably delicious. So what is everybody making for dinner? So as you know, it's cold and snowy. I'll show you again. Some of you didn't see this. You can watch it land in my hair. This is not the first snow we've had. This is probably the one that's going to stick for a while, though. So, ugh. You know, last year was so brutal. You guys, make sure you... Uh, I'm still here, but editing. That's fine. That's cool. I got to edit, too, after I'm done with this. Um, last year was so brutal that this winter... I was, not, I was not excited for this winter to show up. And it seems like it's early, but I guess this is not as early as I think it is. What knife is this? This is not my right knife. <laughs> Thought it was awfully heavy. That's Troy's knife. Okay. It was alcoholic in the beginning, but it leveled out and has a bite to it. Oh, good. Make sure y'all go and buy your fur-lined drawers <laughs> to stay warm. <laughs> yeah, you know what? We we uh, we do have long johns that we wear during the winter. Troy starts wearing his at about uh, 40 degrees because he's in and out of the car because he's a driver. So, um, yeah, we will definitely be doing that. We, uh, our long johns are, um, why am I talking about long johns? Angela Critters, hello. Bozo, no way, sleet in the in Durham, we never had, in, oh, you, Angela Critters, you're in Durham? Did I know that? Or is Bozo in Dur Durham? You all are talking to each other, that's good. I am cutting up an onion and watching the snow come down. Troy's like, it won't stay for long. It's going to stay. It's going to be 14 degrees tonight. So I'm just going to chop the onion. I said you didn't need to see me do this, but. So we're, because of the snow, we're having a cauliflower, cauliflower chowder. And also because this lovely cauliflower cost us over $9. Yes, it's an organic cauliflower that we didn't really, we, we thought it said 320 each, but it said 320 a pound. So that's not cool. Got to use your left eye, I guess. Okay, let me just chop this and I'll come back to you. Got about three minutes before the other vegetables are ready. Yep, monetize. What does that mean? Means about 12 cents a month, I figured. <laughs> I mean, yeah. 
That needs to be cut a little bit more. There we go. Oh, onions getting me. Flowers glamorous. Hello, hello. It happened. It happened. I'm not like doing this that though. I don't know where that is. <laughs> I don't know where the excitement is. I I it's just I think my husband said, well, you're probably not excited because you were working towards this and now you achieved it. Just like when I got my um when I got my doctorate. I didn't jump for joy. I had a party for myself and I was like, wow, I did it. Okay. It was a process. So what's the next thing? So that's that's kind of where I go with stuff like this. Okay. So if I met this goal, where do I go next? I don't I maybe need to stop and celebrate. But I don't know. It's just it's just a thing. It's a big thing. For a lot of thing people, I think it'll be the biggest thing they've ever done. I think after a dissertation, when you're, you know, for me, doing my dissertation, though, was fun. 400 pages of writing was fun. But I think after you do something like that, you, you start on a path where you set, you know now how to set a goal and how to get there. Just like my dissertation, I didn't get there exactly when I wanted to, but I got there in time. So... Oh no, 23, what? Flowers glint. Oh, I have, wait, Diana Ross, I will survive. Okay. What are you saying, Bozo? Bozo, it's going to be down to 23 wintry mix Tuesday. Oh, okay. Well, we're at uh, 20 and it's snowing. Uh, not, not to, I, but I remember if, if you're in Bozo, if you're in North Carolina, I don't know where you are. Are you in North Carolina? I but both you guys, I need to celebrate, but I don't feel the need to celebrate. Maybe I need to celebrate everybody around me who pushed me to this point. Because I had fun. And I'm having fun. I I'm editing right now. I'm editing the longest video I've ever filmed. Or, or shot, it's like, it's in its raw footage, it's over 55 minutes. And so I'm trying to pare it down to 15. And that, to me, that is just so much fun. And, and moving the, getting the moving parts and using my gifts and getting some humor in here and humor in there and laughing at myself, that's fun. So when we say it's work, is it really work? I think it's a lot of time. I don't see it as work. So that's where I am with that. All right. Why do I do things like this? Okay, so onions. My eyes are watering if you can't tell. I'm gonna move this over here. I think we're, oh yeah, we did, the timer went off. So let's go ahead and rinse these. You guys share up alive if you can. You know what? Uh, this is what that is. I, I'm all scattered. I'm all a twitter. I'm all scattered today. I woke up and it's like, congratulations. I'm like, who who is saying, oh, that's YouTube. What are they congrats? Oh, I'm monetized. Okay, rinse it out really good. Oh, I'm mama. Oh, that's so Minnesota. Oh, I'm so I'm monetized. Oh, I'm monetized. <laughs> yes, Durham. And you know, Bozo, I used to live on um, two blocks from Duke. God, what is that street? Anyway, I used to live two blocks from Duke, probably on all four sides for 10 years. It's not Durham, I forgot. Anyway, I taught in Durham County Schools and I taught at Neal Middle School. I taught, uh, I danced with the Chuck Davis African American Dance Ensemble for, um, for a few years and then I had my own company. I went to New York 
not with my own company. I had my own company in Durham. And then I, um, I came back home, but I was in North Carolina for 10 years. Irwin Road, Irwin, that's one of them. The, what are the, I lived on Irwin. What else did I live on? Um, it's a main road. Duke is this way. Downtown is that way. It's not Markham. I lived on Markham too. So LaSalle, yep, I lived on LaSalle. The swag, you're in New York. I'm in Minnesota and it's snowing. Have you had any snow yet, Dushwag? Magnum, yep, I lived there. Because I lived every, in those 10 years, I must have moved 20 times. Because I was poor. I was broke. I wasn't poor. I was broke. I never had any money because I was dancing. Never made a dime. Angela, what'd you say? Hi, Rochelle. Rochelle is here. Hello, Rochelle. The swag. All right. Okay. Let's get cutting. So we're going to cut the celery and the onions. Or we already cut the onions. We're going to cut the celery and the... Uh, um, my eyes are watering. My nose is running from the uh, onion. But we're going to cut the celery and the carrots about the same size as the onions. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Beverly, you look amazing in turquoise. D are, who, how, okay. Okay. So, yeah, so I had a... I had an amazing 10 years in Durham, North Carolina, Bozo, and anybody else who lives in North Carolina. I've been gone so long now. It's been over 20 years. It's just amazing how fast time flies. No snow yet. Oh, okay, yeah, we have snow. We have it's slowing down now, but it's cold. It's going to be super cold. Oh, this celery smells really salty. I know that's strange. How can celery smell salty? It does. Oh, and if you didn't know, I have never done this, but I'm going to try. If you didn't know, you can um, you can use celery juice to ferment things instead of salt. Celery juice does the same thing, I guess. So I haven't done that yet. That's that's not a thing that I have done. I have to blow my nose. My eyes are watered. Hold on. Sorry about that. Should be Beverly, it's great color with your complexion. Yes, well, if you see how it looks now, Karen, the bold buildings, so much buildings, apps, very, yeah, 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 I, I can imagine. Yeah, I, um, I've gone back a couple times, but I, I don't recognize the city. I don't recognize it. It's grown so much when I got there. Man, they had a bus system. I mean, like a bus. Mm. I'm not wearing my apron because it's dirty. <laughs> I will, though, when uh, I'll wear it again. All right, same thing. Let's see if I can get some light on this. There we go. Ah. Okay. 
What's going on in the chat? Sorry, I'm not paying attention. I'm just trying to get this cut up without cutting myself. So in my last video premiere, I think I told you guys, I actually grated the tip of my finger off. Yep, I let the, um, the beet relish, I grated the tip of my finger off. Not cool. So who's in the chat? If you don't want, if you have, okay, Nightbot's telling you, Sugar Love. Love the ad, sis. Congrats. Thank you, Sugar Love. Um, I was telling folks, I, it's like I reached a goal. Now I'm looking for the next thing. And it's like, um, Bozo is saying, you know, you, you need to celebrate. But I'm like, but there's more to do. At some point, I think what's happening is it just hasn't sunk in yet that I did this thing that's, you know, a lot of people give up. That's what I don't understand, I guess. I don't understand giving up. I've never been somebody who gives up. So maybe that's kind of what's going on here, I, that I've finished something. So on to the next thing. Gosh, I wish I had light like this all the time. You can actually see me. My kitchen is so dark. We have a north-south facing kitchen or house. So light, it's all virtually impossible to get things lit in here. And I, uh, because I'm paying student loans, I don't have a lot of money to get things like lighting. So we just deal with, I'll show you what my lighting is, you guys. It's this lamp. That's my lighting. <laughs> but it works, right? I mean, you can see me. Most of the time, sometimes I glow, but. So we have the Miraqua, right? We have onions, celery, and, and uh, carrots all mixed up. I also need to add in there my garlic. I forgot the garlic, gosh. And I should probably, let me, I'm just checking back at my recipe. Okay, so how much garlic do I use? Oh, yeah, so I'm going to do, I always say, when I write recipes, I always say just, you know, one to two cloves of garlic. And the fact is, I'm going to do five. <laughs> uh, because garlic is really good for you. If I put in the, if I put in a recipe that I wrote, if I put in five cloves of garlic, people would not read the recipe. So they'd be like, five cloves of garlic. Yeah, it's good for you. Love garlic. Yes, yes. Just swag, I guess. Five cloves. Yep. Yep. Okay. And I never, I crush my garlic. I do not chop it unless I absolutely have to, like if it's going into a sauce, because I want all the goodness and I want the flavor without it overpowering the dish. And garlic, as lovely as it is, I just don't need to, um, I don't need it to be that powerful. I need it to blend, not stand out. That's a little baby. There we go. And one more. My meat pounder has been used more so as a as a garlic pounder than anything else. There we go. All right, that's going in here too. Okay. Share out the live if you would. But I have to. Ha My girlfriend hates it. Yeah, but I have to have it. Yeah. If if I hated. If I hated garlic, I would be in trouble because my husband smells like garlic most of the time. Now, I used to hate it as a kid. I couldn't stand garlic or onions. And then something happened. Jordan Woodworking and DIY, where are you? Oh, you know what? There's something wrong here. Let me fix this. Flowers Glamorous. Oh, Ralph, thank you. Oh, my.
my gosh, that's beautiful. I keep forgetting that that might happen and that's just beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, Flowers Glamorous, would you say, been waiting to do this a long time. Thanks, Ralph. Thanks so much. I got the dumb look now. Maybe that's what's gonna. <laughs> Thank you for showing your appreciation in a way that is gonna make a difference for my channel. I really appreciate it. Flowers Glamorous, say something, please. I wanna see if it worked. <sighs> oh my crap. I don't wanna cry, cause then my nose will run. <sighs> okay, there you go. I just wanna, I didn't, uh, I, I couldn't figure out flower. I couldn't figure out flowers, I got the look. Why um, you didn't have a wrench or if you lost the wrench or if I lost it somehow, anyway. We're using a lot of bacon in this, a lot. Yep. So this is one, two, three, four, five thick slices, probably a, a third, mm, third of a pound. We're using a third of a pound of bacon. So yes, bacon, I believe in it. You just advanced to level two. Beverly, I don't know what that means. Flowers glamorous, I have no idea, but Batissimo thinks it's important that you know that. I can't get this back in here, why not? There we go. Oh, oh bacon, yes, bacon. So this is what we're gonna do with it. Just cut it into big pieces. This is a really good bacon too. It's a local, um, it's a local, I don't know if I call them a pig farmer or what, but um, they, I forgot what the name, I could look at. Oh no, it's B, I forgot what it is. Anyway, we're gonna break all this up. Beelers, that's what it is. Sorry, I was it was working, working in my brain. Thank you. Try it, buy it, make it, sell it. I know you have a name. I forgot what it was. <laughs> try it, buy it, make it, sell it. Try it, buy it, make it, sell it. Last time I did that, I froze in the car, meaning my face froze in a really funky position. Wasn't it something like this? Try it, buy it. Something like that. Anyway, we're just breaking this up. Sell it. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I got that five, I got that five, that super chat and it just kind of woke me up and I, I don't want to say that money, money would make me feel some way about being monetized, but it did change the way. Thank you, Ralph. Again, it's just money puts a smile on my face, I guess. All right. So this is all split apart and we're gonna go ahead and get our, I try to make as much noise as possible just so you know. Gonna get this pan going. Once that's hot, then we'll start. <sighs> you guys. So let's talk about the recipe a little bit. Then we can talk about what's gonna happen the next two weeks. I'll say this more than once in this live stream. So I am going to, let me get a, the right rag. You know what? I use this one, so let me just use that one. Um, starting tomorrow, I have rehearsals until 7 p.m. So I'll be at school from 6 until 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. So um, I am going to keep on track, meaning I will be doing my daily vlogs in the car in the dark at 7 p.m. for the next two weeks. Tuesday, I have a premiere. I have to get this done. Tuesday, I have a premiere and 
Not yet. When that sizzles, we'll start. Tuesday, I have a premiere. I usually premiere at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'm going to be premiering at 8 p.m. So that gives me time to vlog on the way home and then get here for my premiere at 8 p.m. The premiere is, um, what did I call? Oh, <laughs> what did I call it? Let's see. Uh, what, what did I make? Oh my God. I am so brain dead right now. This is, I, that $5 just, <laughs> um, so, oh yeah. Okay. Almost vegan pasta. Um, I, I'm, it's an, it's a gluten-free, almost vegan pasta with beyond meat sausages in red sauce. That's a whole mouthful. It's a whole mouthful. Um, but it's almost vegan because I didn't know, I did not pay attention to this, but I didn't know until yesterday. Do you see where it says milk powder? Milk powder. So my favorite Gluten-free mix is not appropriate for vegans. It's not vegan. But it's still really good. So it's almost vegan. Everything else about the dish is vegan. Except for that one little bit of milk powder. Who is that? Ralph, I think broke the stream. What? Dishway, bacon, try it, buy it, make it sell. If you would like to support, go ahead. I think I broke the stream. What do you mean? Oh, you broke. Oh. <laughs> ah. so, oh, bacon. I don't know if you can hear it. But the peeler bacon is just delicious. It's not over smoked. Smell my house. Never mind. Carry on. I will. So, anybody have any idea what kind of light I'm? I'm. I am um, going to purchase uh, some light for my kitchen because it's too dark. It's been a year. I've dealt with the, the thing. You know, which is fine. The lamp, I'm saying. I've dealt with the lamp for a year. It worked good enough, except for those times when you notice that my face is dark or whatever. But I I tried a, a small ring light once. Stupid. Dumbest money I ever spent. It worked for, I think, three times, and then the head broke off. Ah, oh, bacon. What kind of lamp should I get? Come on, y'all. Come talk to me. I mean, some of you make videos. Most of you do. Hi, coming from Australia, Monday, 9th. What is, time is it there? Found you on Daddy Curbs on the weekend. Hey, Leslie, it is uh, five, quarter to five, Central Standard Time. Well, thank you for coming in. I just got monetized today, and I'm really kind of feeling it in a way that I didn't expect. Like, yay, yay. So... I'm glad you're here. I use my regular lamp. Yep. Maybe try two regular lamps. Maybe. Thank you. Thank you, Leslie. And if you would like to buy some merchandise, my Teespring, um, my Teespring uh, Spring store front is in the uh, link down below. 
Okay. All right. So we're good on this. I need to leave that alone. I need another thingy thingy. Need another popper knife. Popper. What? She's going crazy. Lamps. Yes. Lamps. Okay. So I need to take this beautiful cauliflower that cost us over $9 and break it up a little bit. This recipe is really very simple. Um, so the, the ingredients include, as I was trying to get through before, tons of bacon, five cloves of garlic, but if you don't want to use five cloves, I've written the recipe to have two, uh, a whole onion, two carrots, two stalks of celery, large stalks of celery, and um, cream. Where's my cream? Cream and chicken stock. So this is my chicken stock. Um, I can't it's very gelatin. It's got a lot of gelatin in it. So, um, but it's really good. I make it out of chicken feet. And there is a video. It's called Chicken Feet uh, Stock, I think. I need something to. I thought I had something. I didn't. Okay. The bacon is looking really good. Here, you want to see? So chicken stock and um, cream. So here we go, bacon. Here we go. Here we go, bacon. Here we go. Doesn't that look good? Mm, I wish you could smell this. I'm going to let it sit for a little bit. Stop messing with it. Divisions. We go up from here. Congratulations. See, I told you. Thank you. I'm next, though. What? How close are you, Tiff? How many hours? Where are your hours? Where are your hours? <sighs> Live, love, and learn. So, Tiff, where are your hours? What? Where are you at? Yes, you are next. Ah, that light is so bright. Okay, I'm going to start cutting this. Yeah, so Tiff, where are your hours? I'm almost at 3,000. Oh, excellent. Are you are you um, doing... Okay, you guys, those of you that are in here, I want to remind you of something that happens on Monday nights and Saturday afternoons. Saturday, um, I gotta get this is a little too bright on me. Saturday, uh, yeah, afternoons. So 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Mondays and 1 p.m. Eastern Standard, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Saturdays, something called Team Build with Geo. And what happens is you Go to Team Build with Geo. I'll type that in there. Team Build with Geo. So that's that's the channel name. If you put in Team Build with Geo, it'll come right up. What if you don't know what Team Build with Geo is about? Watch the videos that she has um, given for instructions. And I'll just tell you a little bit about it. It has been very helpful to me. Um, I've been going to Team Build with Geo since August. In August, I was at, I think, 2,000 hours, might, maybe 2,100 hours, or maybe 2,500 hours. I think I was at 2,000. Between August and November, I got 2,000 more hours because of Team Build. What we do is we come together as a community, 40, 50, 60 folks. I think it's been up to 50. I don't know if it's been higher than that yet. 
we're hoping that we get lots and lots of folks. It's not my idea, not my, I say we because I feel like I'm a part of the team, not because, um, not because I came up with this idea. Anyway, you go into Team Build with Geo. To do this, you have to have a 20 hour playlist. That playlist should be no more than 20 hours. So up to 20 uh, hours. Also, it can be as little as one hour. If that's all you have, start getting your videos watched at one hour. Then, so you have your 20 hour playlist, you go into, you go into the chat and you say, Geo, or Team Build with Geo, I have my 20 hour playlist ready. That way she knows you're ready. Then you, uh, she gives the rules, how you do this, and then you are free to find five playlist partners. Five playlist partners each time you go into to Team Build with Geo means somebody is watching your 20 hour playlist. Five people are watching your 20 hour playlist, meaning that you get 100 hours each time you go into that. When you're watching other people's when you're watching other people's videos, comment on the first one. Don't say, hey, I started your playlist, which I've, I had been guilty of. We're not doing that anymore. You say something about the video. <laughs> so actually watch the first video at least um, and let the, let the playlist run and comment on the last video. Don't say, I've finished your playlist, which I had been guilty of. I think all of us have been guilty of that, but you just comment. And then also you need to make sure that um, if you don't comment, you need to make sure you really should comment because why are you going to watch why YouTube is going to be like, why are they watching and not interacting? It's always better to have interaction. Anyway, team build with Geo, get your playlist watched, get a hundred hours each time you go in. You could go in Monday and Saturday. If you go in Monday and Saturday and you get five playlist or five playlist partners, you're talking about 200 hours a week that people are watching your videos. You just have to make sure that you guarantee you you have to be honest and make sure you watch their videos as well. It's really helpful. There's you can't go wrong with this. Tip Visions, if you haven't been in there, uh, you need to do that. That'll help you out. That'll really get you there. Sorry, Nightbot, I don't understand what you mean by it's hashtag, never heard of it. Oh, Leslie, um, uh, if you have a uh, cash app and you want to support this channel, the scash tag or the cash tag for me, if you have cash app, that's the only way you can do this. Uh, if you have um, a cash app, it's a mobile, it's a mobile app. Uh, you can support me by using my cash tag, which is dollar sign, um, capital, capital K, then A-R-E-N-P-A-L-M-E-N. -E -E That's my name. So if, if you're so inclined, you may do that. You don't have to. So Nightbot's just telling you. I think I need to make sure it happens every 15 minutes rather than every five minutes. I could change that. I'll change that tonight. Yeah, you have to get back in there, Tiff. It'll help. It'll really help. Okay. We're going to rough chop this, and I want to get some light on it so you can see. Get rid of this. I might make a little bit of a mess here, but that's all right. So, yeah, cauliflower, creamy cauliflower chowder. Perfect for a winter night, for cold days, winter cold nights. And you can, you, I could definitely do this in a um, food processor, but I prefer to do it by hand because I don't want to clean the food processor. That's the truth of it. You just want to make sure you get the big chunks out of there. I'm working in a very small space for a very big head of 
cauliflower. This is not very <laughs> that piece is where is it at? Uh. I'm not doing this smart. This isn't smart. I'm going to change this. I'll take this much and cut it. We'll put this aside and come back for it. What's going on? If you'd like to support this channel, you just, uh, did that say that again? Okay, sorry. Welcome to the stream. We use PayPal, is that the same? It's similar to PayPal, it's a different app. It's a different app. Some uh, channels, some places, not channels, some businesses are not taking PayPal anymore. I don't know why that is. It has something to do with, um, wasn't that eBay's pay system? I think eBay is in a little bit of trouble. So um, anyway, this is a, just another way to support, easily support. So I have a, I think I have a PayPal account. <laughs> there we go. That's good for this. I'm going to get another bowl. So you want to chunk it up about this size. Okay, put that aside. Get a little bit more. Yeah, this is better. I was not being successful the other way. Rochelle Bahan, thank you. Hey, Karen and Chet, Rochelle, thank you for coming through. I, I, I'm really happy about this. Let's see. So, Rochelle, we're making a cauliflower chowder because it is cold out. I just need to chop this up a little bit. Not a lot, just a There we go. So it's cauliflower, bacon, the mirepoix, all of that. And just one last bit. Not talking much, sorry, I should be. Hey, flowers again. Oh, there we go. It's not my cooking if something doesn't go overboard. Hold on. Sorry about that. Oh, it always happens. Are you okay? So we're almost done with the chopping part of this. The bacon is almost done. Oh, the bacon smells so good. I can't help myself. Right out of the pan. So good. Okay. Made a mess, but we have it all chopped. There we go. Okay. So, uh, what was I saying? There's something, something, something is important to say. Oh, yeah. I was talking about my schedule for a little bit. 
I'm monetized. I'm just, I'm kind of dumbfounded. I don't, I don't have lots and lots and lots to say. But I'm glad you guys are here and you're watching me cook. So let's keep cooking. Um, we talked about cash tag. We talked about um, team build with Geo, which is Tuesdays, Mondays and Saturdays. Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Saturdays at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that's that. We got that out of the way. I think we better start cooking. What do you think? All right. Let's do this. I think I need to get one more um, one more chicken stock because I have to have more than two cups. Oh my god, you guys. Okay, there's no chicken stock in there. Please put that in there. Oh boy. Okay, so this is what happens when you cook a lot. out a little bit. Yeah, I'm sorry you had to see that. I think I'm going to set a rule that this next week, or the next two weeks before Thanksgiving, we can't buy any meat. We have to eat out of the freezer. This is craziness. I couldn't even get that drawer open. So here's what we need to do. We need to, we need to, uh, we got the bake going. We need to get some either bacon grease or butter. I'll probably use bacon grease in the, in my stock pot over here. And then I'm going to put in the Miracle. And then what do we do? We're going to put all that in for three to four minutes. And then we're gonna add in, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, sorry, I was looking at my recipe too. So what we have to do is um, get rid of this, put this over here for right now. Get some, um, some grease of some sort. I don't wanna do butter. I know bacon grease isn't bad, or isn't good for you, but it's readily available especially since we just did this. Okay, pull this out. Yeah, I'm gonna use bacon grease. Um, the flour we're gonna use uh, is, we're gonna use the cup for cup, which is gluten-free, but not vegan, as we found out. And I'm gonna use some of this in here. Not, oh, you know what? That's been on the stove. It isn't my live, my cooking live, unless I burn a hand, is it? <laughs> All right. Yeah, so about three tablespoons. That's good enough. Get that heated up. I believe in bacon. I believe in fat. I believe in bacon fat. Phew, that was a relief. I thought it was my... Mm. It's, 
if you want a Mug Rochelle, it's in my, it, I think it's one of the cheaper things in my store. You guys, the reason my stuff is uh, expensive is because it has one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five colors. Six, actually. Six colors. So, I mean, I think the, I, I tried to price things reasonably. Like, I priced it way down at the bottom where profit isn't even a thing. It is a thing, but not, it's like 50 cents. Okay, that needs to go just a little, oh, I can take that off, that's right. Sorry, I'm an expert at making noise. Okay, so we're getting this going. Oh, it's smoking hot, good. Okay. A lot of this has gone other places besides the stove. Let's get you over here. So we'll let that soften up a little bit, and then we will, um, once that softens up, we will add some flour to it and make a little roux. Just a little bit of roux. So once again, this is excellent gluten-free flour, but not uh, vegan because it has milk powder in it. We're in cauliflower and bay leaf, okay. Okay. Just checking one last time what I, why am I putting that away? One last thing, I'm looking at my, uh, how much, how much, okay, fourth cup. It's like, what, how, what am I supposed to? I am confused today. That should be right. It's not completely melted, but that's just fine. It'll be good. So we're going to have this go. Now we're dark. I have this go for another minute, and then I'm going to throw the cauliflower in to kind of steam in there with it. So it's getting a little bit translucent here. This is going to be, you guys, if you could smell this, it is awesome. I've tried that one before. Works really good. Oh, yeah. Tim Turner, hi. T hi, Tim. Why do you have, why do you have a long sleeve shirt on and scarf when it's 70? Okay. There's snow, Tim. It's snowing. And it's going down to 14 degrees. And it's cold. It's going down to 14 degrees. Yeah, time to put the cauliflower in here now. The onion is nice and translucent. And oh my gosh, it smells good. This is going to be so delicious. Okay. I'm going to let that steam with the lid on for a little bit. 
I love cauliflower um, uh, chowder. Have you ever had it? It's awesome. That looks good. It is good, Tim. You guys, share out the live if you would, if you haven't already. John, Journey's Diary. Who, where's that? Where were where, where, Journey's Diary? Hi. Thank you, Journey's Diary. I'm going to I'm gonna read your about page. I guess I'm not. Not on this computer. I'm not going to read your about page. Let's look at this one. Phew, that was real. I thought I was the only one. Okay. Okay. Journey's Diary. Journey's Diary. Journey's. There you are. The cup can be found in my Teespring storefront, which you can find in the link down below. Journey, I think I read you last week, didn't I? Hello, I'm a Dallas vlogger who loves to travel. The channel is dedicated to my personal weight loss goals, personal life goals, and my quest to see as much of the world as I can. I love uploading travel vlogs to YouTube to share with family and friends. Friend equals you. My adventures, I hope to have own an RV one day. Troy and I are going to get an RV in uh, in six years. That's our hope, too. We're going to get in an RV. So we're friends. Um, I hope to have, so that I can do some over-the-road traveling and self-reflection while visiting beautiful places around the world before I am too old for it. I know. That's where I am right now, too. Uh, I love people and have deemed everyone who joins this channel a member of the love gang. All right. Click that red button and join the, lo the love gang gang today. That's a beautiful about. I love that. That's really good. I don't think mine is that good. That's exciting. So. Ah. <sighs> I, you know, I think I'm feeling it. I think I'm feeling the the. I got monetized now because I, I keep looking at my face in the in the video and I, I got the perma smile, the dumb look. What happened? I got monetized. <laughs> Come down and hey, I think I will be. I've been invited by many Texas folks. So I definitely will. Oh, this bacon sitting here is dangerous. There's not going to be any left for the top of the chowder. So I wrote a noodle recipe yesterday. Um, you'll see it in the video on Tuesday. Remember my video is going to be at eight o'clock, not seven o'clock because I have rehearsal until seven o'clock. But, um, <coughs> excuse me. I think I need a little bit more fat in here. I can handle it now. Just a little bit. Just another tablespoon. Now. So altogether three tablespoons of, of whatever fat you're using. Um, yeah, so the recipe, I adapted my duck egg pasta recipe to be mostly vegan. If I had had a different, if I had had a different gluten-free flour, it would have been vegan, but uh, Cup for Cup has, has milk powder. Um, anyways, so it was, it was so easy to work with. I sometimes with gluten-free pastas don't like to use the, the machine, the, um, the pasta machine. <laughs> yeah, the pasta machine, um, because it breaks up. This was so pliable. I could have actually used it, and I didn't. But next time I make this uh, this pasta, I definitely will because, like I said, it's super pliable, and it's it's mimics absolutely mimics gluten free flour. Isn't that beautiful? Ooh! All right, time to get that flour in there. Quarter cup. Whenever, 
Uh, I, I already said that. What? If you don't have a cash, step away from the bacon. I know. Step away from the bacon. My dad used to have a car that said, step away from the vehicle. You are too close to the vehicle. I thought, dad, that's really, uh, that is so pretentious. Step away from the vehicle. You are too close to the vehicle. <laughs> My dad enjoyed being pretentious because he really wasn't. He wanted, some, uh, my dad was an interesting fellow. He really wanted to be super wealthy. He came from humble, a uh, humble, um, humble beginnings in Chicago, Illinois. He lived on the north side, so he wasn't he wasn't poor. It's just he wasn't. They weren't wealthy. Um, my grandpa always aspired to be wealthy as well. He was a he made a living. My so we'll talk about my grandpa first. He made a living as a um, bank teller. You could actually make a living as a bank teller. Um, he had a an eighth grade education, never graduated from high school, but was in, worked for some big bank in Chicago for most of his life, all of his life. My, um, my grandpa had a new car every three years. And my dad, who had six kids, um, had his thing was, oh my God, we, you know, we have a car. We're just lucky we have a car. And the, so he wanted to do better than that. Um, he was a minister and then he became a real estate uh, broker during the 80s. And into the 90s, and he died in 99, but um, he really wanted to, my dad really wanted to fit in with the big dogs, you know. Uh, he was a nice guy. He had a heart of gold, but that desire for money and to have things <sighs> kept him working sometimes way too long. I say when I'm talking to Stacy on the phone. What? Oh, so, you know, when you said step away from the bacon, I thought about step away from the car. Let me check on what I'm supposed to do next. Hold on. Okay, I did that. I did that. Okay, I need to bring, yeah, all right. I have not seasoned this at all. I need some everything seasoning. I'm going to season this with everything seasoning, and I'm probably going to put some red pepper flake in it. So I'm going to go with a tablespoon of seasoning for all of this. Salt, pe salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. Getting some good fun out of the bottom. So broth, this is my own broth uh, that I make with chicken feet. And it is good. I have a chicken feet video. I think I might do another one. I don't know. Get this turned up. I should actually do the chicken foot, foot video live. It's like four cups, and then I'm going to add two cups of cream. Let me get some, I'm gonna get some um, red pepper flake in there so it can start blooming and spreading its heat throughout. But I'm not gonna use that much, just about a teaspoon. Because we don't want it to burn, we want it to flavor. Fresh jalapenos, yes. So come over here and look at this. I think you'll you'll think it's really beautiful. So now I'm going to put in a cup. 
cup of cream. Oh, who is who makes this? Uh, this is really creamy cream. Pasture grazed cows, small Amish and Mennonite farm, family farms. This is awesome stuff. Let's see. I'm going to put in about a cup. I think that'll be good. If I need more, I'll put more in. Oh, man. That is delicious looking. Look at that. Can you see that? Ugh. Oh my God, that's gonna be good. That's gonna be so good. Oh, I know, it smells very good. All right, so you guys, along with this, while this is cooking down, I think it has to cook just for a few minutes, um, 15 minutes, and then I'll salt it again. Um, so we're going to cook it down with the lid on. I have a pineapple, and it's weird to have cauliflower and pineapple, but I'm gonna, we're going to have pineapple for dessert. This pineapple is ready, so I need to get it cooked. This is such a small space to work in. I'm monetized. How did that happen? The I remember listening the last year sometime. You guys got to talk about this. It's starting to hit me. Last year sometime, I said to my husband, I'm never gonna go live. I'm never gonna, One Peaceful Mind Alicia, thank you. I'm never gonna go live. I think my premieres are good enough. Then I looked at my hours. <laughs> I think in, in May I had 100, maybe three, no, probably 300. But in April I looked and I only had 150 hours. And I was like, Oh, it, it really isn't going to work just me just doing my videos. I have to have a following that actually follows. So um, I, st I started, I had my first live in April. And it was in, um, it was when I was visiting my, my, uh, my cousin in Arizona. Hold on. I may actually have a little bit of a cold this time. I don't think this is, uh, I don't think this is allergies because my sinuses are, I'm feeling it in here. Um, so I did my first live in, in, in Arizona by the pool. It was two minutes and I was amazed because I don't know, I don't know who showed up, but I was amazed because I'm sure it was one of the crew that I hang out with, but I was amazed because within, within that first minute, like within 10 seconds, there were five people there talking to me. Hey, Karen, you're live. You're live. And I was, I was like, yeah, but I don't know what I'm doing. Bye. <laughs> I got off in two minutes. Then I tried it again. I think I've had my feet doing something in the water. And then at night, my cousin went to bed, and I did my I did my first hour live, way late at night, and it was um, my second cousin or my my cousin's son came in, and he was a part of my life. He was eighteen years old, so it was okay. But I was like, this can be fun, can also be dangerous. I didn't find out how uh, funny it could be. Oh, I'm buffering. Let me see if I can fix my own buffering. I'm sorry. Uh. 
Okay. I buffered for a long time. Sorry about that. Oh, it was fine. Okay. Um, mine, it was just... Anyway, so... I didn't find... I, I had fun with that live. I did... I, I realized um, when I came home, I started doing live streams a little more often. And then I realized that I was not the one who could sit at a table and talk to people. I had to be doing something. So I at least had to be in the kitchen because um, sitting and looking at you and I don't have enough to say. I don't have enough to say, and, but I think on my feet when I'm moving. It was in June, June 5th or 6th, I have a video called Shell Shocked, a little shell shocked because for three days I had been inundated with um, some really, really scary, stuff. People came in my life, said some terrible things. Uh, oh my God. And I just, I didn't, I couldn't, I couldn't um, hide them or delete them fast enough. And I thought I'm done. My channel's done. I'm absolutely done. Nobody's going to want to come back. And for a while there, uh, nobody did come back or very few people came back to my evening lives. There are some people that said, I can't come to your lives because I'm afraid those people are going to follow me over to my channel. Well, just like my husband said, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. And they get bored with you if you don't respond or you laugh or you just move on. You know, um, then I started during the summer, I started doing the 930 lives and I would cook breakfast and I would prepare uh, dinner for the evening. Um, so that I could take it with me or we could have it when we got home. And I got to know a whole lot of folks um, and a, lo a, lot, a whole new crew, uh, um, a morning crew, which once I got back from Park Rapids, I was like, oh, my God, what am I going to do? I'm not going to be able to YouTube and work and live stream. I'm not going to be able to do it. And it took me a while to figure it out. Hey, Boss Life, thank you. Thank you very, 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 very much. I'm just, I'm just starting to wrap my head around it. Um, I've been kind of like, wow, I'm, I'm monetized. Kind of didn't feel anything about it. But um, yeah, Leslie, that's right. Yeah, so anyway, here I am. I, I, I I've been looking at myself in my live stream and I realize I have a perpetual smile. So that might be it coming out. And so that prompted me to think about when did this happen? How did this start? How did I start? How did I get here? What well, Tim Brown, looks like I'm going to follow you around. Sorry, that didn't sound right. Tim. Um, yeah, so then when I got back from up north choreographing the musical, I was completely lost because now I didn't have my 9.30 in the morning crew. And, uh, what, ooh, hey, we may need to stir that. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm going to turn that down a little bit more. This is turning into a beautiful chowder. You guys, I can't wait to taste it. And I gotta cut this pineapple so that we have dessert. This is gorgeous. Wow. Um, so then I discovered, okay, if I'm gonna, I, I, wanna, I want to meet this goal. I did wanna meet it by my anniversary date, but I was three days off. Who cares? Three days, right? Um, so I started the teacher vlogs and then I realized I don't want them just, well, I want, I want to make my channel about the things that I came to, you know, I wanted to make it about fermentation, gluten-free and some new, new cook's recipes. I wanted to focus more. And so the teacher vlogs just became daily vlogs, Beyond Sauerkraut daily vlogs. Um, and yes, I talk about teaching, but it allows me to talk about other things and decompress about the day and, and, and um, 
things like that. But I made it. Uh, the big push, the team build with Geo pushed me over the edge. And uh, Boss Life, I did talk about team build with Geo. I told folks how to get there, what to do, and also go there beforehand and watch videos. Um, I think I had a real change three Sundays ago when, I mean, a real like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this. I am, I am kicking it with Karen. And that's when I decided to do my posters and all my, you know, all of my, my stuff, my merch. Got my stickers. And then uh, it was one of the bean Sundays where I made a bean stew or bean soup. I had such a good time. First good time live streaming in such a long time where I got a really good interaction from people. I was able to share things. People were asking me questions. And I just, I was like, yeah, this is going to happen. I know it. I know it now. I know it. Because I was like, this is never going to happen. You know, I was really worried about it. But it happened. And here I am. And I think it's, it's, it's taken all day for me to go, oh, oh, oh. <sighs> Sorry, as, as you're monetized, it proves to overcome, it proves you overcame the rubbish. Yes. Yes. You know, you learn how to deal with, with things. You learn how to laugh at folks, with folks, but definitely, I also learned how to be sorry for, for folks who feel the need to do that. It's sad. It's really sad that that's what you have to do in order for you to feel something. I don't know. I tr Troy and I were trying to figure out what, what would make somebody be like that, be, a, I don't, we don't know. Nani's world, where's Nani's world? I didn't see Nani's world. Batissimo said Nani's world was here. Thank you all. I don't see a Nani's world. I see Nightbot, I see Team Build, I see, no, I see Boss Life, you can get up to five playlist buddies at Team Build. Team build with Geo, yes. Oh, where is Nani's world? Tim Turner, Leslie, Tim. I miss Nani's world. I don't I don't know who Nani's world is. Is that a is there hey Nani's world, if you're in here, say hello. Oh, midget. Oh, okay. Okay. Let me read your about. I think I, did I subscribe to you? I did not. Okay, I'm gonna, hello, Nani. Let's read your about. My channel is about a pl uh, my plant life, my crocheting, and much more. I'm pretty new to this still. Though I had my page for a while, it is moving kind of slow. I'm a creative person and intend on doing more. Thank you for visiting my channel. I hope you enjoyed your stay here. Any ideas you have for me, please feel free to let me know. Thank you in advance. Well, Nani, let me see what you got here. Plants. Food. Happy birthday, Mom. Christmas 2014. Oh, my goodness. You know, Nani, you have such good stuff here. I'm going to watch it. I definitely am. I got to put you in on a, a, a I'm going to do the food one. I'm going to put this in a watch later. I've got to go in and clean out some stuff before I can add some more people. But I am definitely going to be adding you.
All right. Nani, thank you for coming in. If you don't have Nani, she she will uh, she's got 240, I think it is, subscribers. And she's a growing channel. She has interesting, if you just look at her page, you see all of her plants, you see some food. It looks really intriguing. So if you don't have Nani, please um, get Nani. Nani, I would suggest for your channel to grow that you go to Team Build with Geo. If you look up there, Boss Life, can you put Team Build with Geo back in there? Hi, Shawana, how are you? Team Build with Geo on Monday nights and or Saturday afternoons and get your um, get some watch hours by having a 20 hour playlist and naming it 20 hour playlist, not over 20 hours. And uh, even if that's all you have is six to eight to 10, however many hours you have, as long as it's yours, you put it together in one playlist, you can get up to five playlist partners to watch your videos. Okay, so that's a suggestion. Anybody who's new, that's a suggestion I would do. But what I would do before you do that is go over to Team Build. Geo just put the link in there. The Boss Life Online just put the link in there. Go over there before you come in on either Monday or, or Saturday and find out what you have to do. Okay, find out what you have to do. It helped me so much. It helped me get to this point. So, ooh, I think we're good here. Sorry, I just saw it getting ready to bubble over. Yes. Ooh, you guys. I got to taste it for seasoning. I'm going to add seasoning if I need to. And then we're going to cut that pineapple. Oh, it's got... I love cauliflower. I absolutely love cauliflower. It needs a little bit more. So I'm gonna go with another tablespoon. This is a big pot of soup, so a tablespoon isn't gonna hurt it. I want a little bit more um, salt, just, just salt. And then I forgot to add the bay leaf. I don't know if it's gonna make a difference now. It's gonna simmer for a little bit, so. Oh, man, oh, man, I can't wait to taste this for you. So that's um, that's what uh, Team Build is about. It's what got me over the hump. It's what got me to this point. It's, what, it's, a, it's something I'm going to be dedicated to because as I, as I have more videos and more, you know, build more videos, then I'm going to start swapping videos out so every video – all of my videos get watched, not just that 20 hour. So I, right now I have two 20 hours. Um, one is my teacher vlogs for the first quarter that came to 19 hours, 52 minutes and 19 seconds. So it's called 20 hour teacher notes, I think, 20 hour teacher notes. Um, so that people have an opportunity if they've already watched these, then they can watch those. Um, but a lot of people that have seen my stuff have seen everything. So, you know, somebody, I want people to have options. I'm not going to have a whole bunch of 20 hours. I'm going to, I'm going to drop, drop them each time I build another one. Excuse me. Hello, Shawana's creative. Okay. Everybody's saying hi. That's good. At Team Build, go listen to the 20-hour playlist and counting video and an about section. Yes, we have to have an about section. So, um, uh, Nani, your about section is good. But what I would ask you, what we would ask you to do, and I say we because I feel like I'm part of the team, but Boss Life is the leader of the team. Um, what I would ask you to do is um, make sure that you have a way to contact you in your about page. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, um, personal email if you feel like it, uh, Facebook Messenger. However, we the person who is playing your playlist can best get a hold of you. That's that's um, that's key. 
And that's anybody in the chat who's doing that. All right, ha, oh, time to cut a pineapple. Why? Because I have one. I gotta rinse this off first. I need a, I need a fresh cutting board. I monetize. I've got a ton of grading to do and a video to finish. You know, I, when I finish, I'm going to go back and talk about this. When I finished my dissertation, I felt kind of the same way. Ooh, it's done. What's next? And then after a while, there's this moment. I'm starting to remember this. After a while, there's this settling in and realization that something big just happened. This is something I've been working towards. And it's kind of amazing. It's just the weirdest. It's weird. It's just weird. Have you ever cut a pineapple? Where is my pineapple? There it is. Have you ever cut a pineapple before? I have a one minute video about cutting a pineapple. And most Americans do it wrong. And I'm one of those Americans that does it wrong. So I cut meat with that. I can't use that one. Where's my other one? I lost my knife, y'all. I lost my knife. There's an... Where is my other knife? What did I do with it? Where did... Oh, I hit it. All right, so cutting a pineapple is really easy. You cut off the top, the bottom, the sides, and cut out the core. Let's do that. So let's get some light on this first. So we do this wrong. There's another way to do it. I'm not going to. This pineapple is really ripe and looks like it's brown in spots. I'm not worried about the brown. Now, if this was an organic pineapple, which it is not, I would save this and make something called tapacha, which is a fermented drink that it tastes like a pineapple soda. So it's a natural soda and it's really good. I made it one time before and then I made it another time and it exploded and went all, all over the place. But, oh, this is very ripe. But since this isn't organic, I wouldn't ferment it. Most everything I ferment is organic. I just don't like, um, I don't like fermenting pesticides. Okay, it's a little bit brown in spots. I think I'm actually okay with that because it's not bad. It's just super ripe. So Troy and I are going to have this for um, dessert. If I had ice cream, I would make a pineapple. Oh, this is very ripe. I'd do something and make a pineapple syrup out of this, but I don't have ice cream. We're just going to eat this. Okay. As I always say, don't throw this out. Hello, who came in? It's really good for you. It's full of fiber and very sweet. Miss Naturally Nora. Sorry about that. Where are you? Okay, Miss Naturally Nora. Somebody's saying hello, so you must be here. All right, super ripe, a little bit brown in spots, I'm not worried about it. Gosh darn, that's good.
Oh, that's that's so tasty. All right. Okay. So there's another way to cut pineapple where you actually just pull it apart. I don't know how to do that, but I saw it on a video. Somebody in here probably knows how to do that. Like I said, a little bit brown, but mm, just tastes sweet. Might actually be a little bit fermented, <laughs> which is okay. Oh, nummy, nummy, nummy. I love pineapple. They were on sale, so they were probably old. Mm. Miss Naturally in New Orleans, I got monetized. I don't know how it happened. It just happened. Okay, I wonder if I can fit all this in there. Probably not. Somehow, you guys, you know, Lisa Carter's Eat always says, well, and so does, um, so does Flowers Glamorous. She always says, speak it into existence. Well, I'm going to speak something into existence. I really think my channel is going to go someplace. I really think something is going to happen. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but it is. West Side Story. Who is that? Who is that? She is monetized. Yeah! Woo! Speak it into existence. I did. I was worried. But I am a worry word. I don't even know what money. You know, I think I'm probably, I will be eligible for my 12 cents a month. <laughs> you know, because there's no money in YouTube. You know there isn't. Maybe a super chat here and there, if you're lucky. Mm. Woo. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the refrigerator so it gets nice and chilled and cool and wobbly. Oh, Troy's already got it. Speak it, yes. I'm like, I, this is probably the least organized live I've had ever. And I was sure I was organized. But I can't steam, seem to keep on track. Beverly, you're next, by the way. Come on. Team Bill. Speak it. I agree. I told you in your community page three days ago. I, oh, you guys, I have to taste this for you. I think you're going to absolutely, it looks great. Gluten-free, full of vegetables, full of cream, which isn't so good for you. Can you see it? Let me do this. There we go. That, we're going to eat this. We're just going to eat this. What? John, half an acre. Whoa! That, I... <laughs> I'm not used to seeing that, John. That's amazing. Thank you so much. That's like, wait, that, that's, am I in Daddy Kirk's life? No, it's my life. That's great. I need to be able to do, 
I don't know what to do when people, I don't have a squirrel. I don't have anything that I can, that was beautiful. Popping in to say, hi, I'm driving so I can't engage too much. That's fine. Oh, I know. Oh. I need to do it this way and I need light on it. See that? A little help. It'll be a lot of help. Looks like I might be able to get some light in here soon. All right, you ready? You're in? I can cook. I have been given a gift. Oh, why does my food, all, oh my God, I have been given a gift. Mm. Perfectly creamy. The cauliflower still has a little bit of crunch. <clears throat> The hot pepper, now you don't have to use hot pepper, but I love hot pepper, it has just bloomed enough so you get heat, but not burn. The other vegetables are tender and delicious. Oh, the garlic, like I said, has, garlic is, to me, I think garlic is the umami most of the time. So it weaves in and out of the other flavors and really brings them together. That's what has happened here. I'm getting a flavor high. Pardon me while I eat my stew or my chowder. Mm. It's so warm considering we have this much snow. Goodness. This is so good, you guys. I think Troy is really gonna like it. Bacon is perfect on top. Healthy, except for the bacon fat and the cream. <laughs> Still, still, there's less fat in this than you would find in a can of uh, Campbell's, anything. I love me. I love all of you, too. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'll be eating a huge bowl of this for dinner. All right, you guys. Let's recap what's going to happen this week, next week. If I can get my mind off this delicious, delicious chowder. Mmm. <clears throat> Okay, so we're coming up on the opening of the show, which means that I rehearse every day until seven. What else that, what, what that does to my day is that I will be live streaming at 7 p.m. from my car in the dark until I get home. So I'm going to do that, still going to do it. It's real important for me. I hope people don't mind. It's really important for me because it helps me decompress. And when I go back into the chat and see what people have, it actually helps me. I get some really good advice. I get some really good advice from folks. 
and I get the much much needed empathy and sometimes sympathy, you know, because teaching is hard. Uh, secondary trauma and everything that goes along with it is a real thing. So it's important for me to keep that practice. It, it, it has become a practice. And thankfully, some of you are coming along with me on that practice. And you've heard the stories. And you can you can connect. And then, so that's 7 o'clock. What that does to Tuesday, though, for my video. Yes, less MSG, too. Um, what that does for Tuesday is my video will premiere at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, which is 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Mountain Time, 6 p.m. Pacific Time. So those are two big changes. That's going to happen for two weeks. Then I'm going back to my regular schedule, which is live streaming as soon as I'm done with rehearsal. And with um, when we come up to Cabaret, which is the student-led production, it is possible that um, I, I, my plan was to end rehearsals because they don't need to be there until 5.30. No student-run anything needs to be there until 5.30. So what that means is I'll be done at five. John, don't have a smartphone go so super chat will have to do for now. That's fine. That's fine. John, that, that's just fine. I'm fine with that. I'm all fine with that. Um, so that's for two weeks. When I get back to, when we start Cabaret, the student-led performance where they smash a bunch of musicals to musical theater pieces together and cr that create a theme, blah, 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 blah. We'll talk about that later. Um, I'll be getting done at five. And what the, it could mean that I come home, I get home in time to live stream at 5.30 in my home instead of in the dark. So that could happen, but um, we'll see. the first. It's just these two weeks that we have to worry about first. Two p.m. Australian. Oh, okay. Right. Thumbs up, people, when you enter. Thank you so much, you guys. I'm going to be finishing here in three minutes. I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. Whether you watch a lot or you watched twice. I want to say thank you because it all counts. I also want to thank The Boss Life Online, Flowers Glamorous, Naturally New Orleans, uh, John Haffenecker, all of, the, uh, all of the mods in here. I want to thank all of you that are not mods but came in to talk to me anyway. I really appreciate everything that um, everything that's happened. I could not... I really could not have gotten 4,000 watch hours without every single person in this chat. At some point or another, we've played each other or we have seen a video or whatever. I don't believe that I've crossed over some mountaintop. I believe I hit a notch on a mountain. I don't know where the top of that mountain is, but that's where I'm going. And it's, I'm here because of you. I don't often say thank you. I don't say thank you for subscribers. I don't, I just expect that to happen. But I need to say thank you for all of it. You have been, you guys have, have really changed my life. And if Carter Zeet was here, she would, she could tell you a story. She changed my life. And after that, here comes the rest of you. And my life is tenfold better than it was a year ago. I wish Daddy Curbs was here. He started the whole thing. You're welcome, ma'am. I like hanging out watching you. Dang, that didn't sound good. <laughs> you know what, Tim? You can say whatever you want, because I know you enough. Thank you, Boss Life. 
Thank you, Blake. Absolutely. If you guys don't know who Blake Kirby is, I talk about him in almost every live stream or I have. And I talk, I talk about, I give him a shout out. I try to remember to give him a shout out in every single one of my videos because he said, um, your story counts. You matter because your story, your story matters because you matter. It started out as, um, as uh, I matter, be my story matters because I matter. It started out that way, but he had to go to counts for some reason. Anyway, he did a video where he got his eyes right in there. He pointed his finger and I thought he was talking to me, right? I, I was like, oh man, this is so earnest right now. And that's exactly, um, I, right, Leslie? That's exact. He he did this, and I, I next. What was it? Two days later, I had my first video, which is pretty awful. But <laughs> I did it. It was just a thank you to some really cool people, and that video included a lot of homesteaders that I I I, I still follow, um, especially off grid with Doug and Stacy. Oh, I'm crying. I guess it happened. I don't have any tissue. I guess I should be dancing, but I don't dance when things like this happen. I just cry. Thank you. I have to sign off because I'm I'm a mess. <laughs> Thank you, John. Thank you, John. <laughs> Happy tears. Love you. Okay, I'm gonna go because I look. I'm gonna start looking crazy. It took all this time, two hours, to figure out why I was what happened here and I got monotones and now I'm crying. So now I get, like I said, I get, I get the right to get earn 12 cents a month. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you. Oh, God. Gosh darn it. Thank you so much. I will see you later. Yeah. <laughs>